This video is on the Prime Academy Learning Center HP Prime setting page. This page has three videos on it and we are creating the overview video of the page right now. The first video was on how to change the HPD Prime dim time. This one here allows you on the physical calculator to change the time that it takes for the screen to dim from 30 seconds to any time that you uh, would like. The second video is HP Prime internal backup. This uh, particular backup is available on all HP Prime calculators, whether it be the physical calculator, the emulator, or the Apple, iPhone, iPad, Android versions of the calculator. The HP Connectivity Kit backup allows us to back up the, the thing to a um, computer. This is not available for the free and the light versions. We go to the CAS view. We see lots of activity in the um, calculator. If we go to the home page, then hit the VAR key, then go to number two, programming option, we see that our calculator has a lot of programs in it. These programs came from the finite math menu item where we have lines, finance, and the dual problem. If we go over to our calculator, this is a formula for doing compound interest. This is a formula for finding the line given two points. This is a formula for finding the line given a point and slope. This is a finance problem for a loan. This is a pivot mat operator that we installed into our calculator to help us with solving the dual problem. This is a problem for working on IRAs. This is a problem for doing simple interest. And this is a function particular problem. A couple of points are in order. We noticed that when we were looking at the name of these functions that we created, that we did not copy the I when we put it in. We put the N in algebraic form, but the calculator, when we go to edit the form that was in our calculator, puts it into um, textbook form because that's what we have the calculator set to. So we're going to talk a little bit about that in this video. So right now we'll add the I, okay, to the calculator. So we'll go over to the calculator and add the I to the calculator. We'll scroll over so we can see this form in textbook form. So in textbook form, we see that the function is um, quite complex to figure out the thing for an IRA. At this point, we will just press enter and put the formula into our calculator. Now we'll go back to second and memory. We'll go to CAS variables. This allows reverse word wrap. So if we go uh, around, we can get there quicker by going around to the bottom and coming back up. We press enter. And now we have our new IRA formula and we also have our RA formula, which does the same thing. So we'll go over to our RA formula. We talk over here in the setting page about using the delete option to recover from things, backspace delete key. So we hit the, the backspace delete key and it deleted that particular option for us. Okay, we'll escape out of here. We'll go to our home key. We'll go to memory. Again, go back to CAS variables. We'll press enter. And we see that it is missing. If we hit our var key, we'll escape out. We hit our var key and hit program, we now have IRA in there instead of RA. So we have our function uh, edited. 
Let's go ahead and escape out of here. And let's make a backup since we've changed things. So we'll use the um, mem key to make the backup uh, here. So we'll hit shift and then we'll hit the mem key. Oops, hit the wrong key. Escape out of here. Hit shift and hit the mem key. Then we want to go to uh, backup. So we'll reverse around, hit enter. We'll hit new. It doesn't allow us to use the same name, so we'll edit the name. We'll put an A after it. We'll say OK, and then we'll press OK. Now we have the previous backup and the current backup with the name correct. Escape out of this page. OK, let's go back over here to the setting page. So we'll go back to the setting page. And we'll take a look at stuff on the setting page. Figure one has the screens when we initially set up the calculator. We can also return to these screens and edit um, things uh, our, afterwards. So to get to this page, we go back over to our calculator. We then uh, the settings right here is under the home key so it's in blue so we'll hit shift and settings and this comes up with our first page that we have over here then it says page one of four we'll go down and we'll get the second page that we have here notice that this is set to textbook and notice that this is set to textbook. So for input, we're inputting textbook file, and for outputting, we're using textbook. Now, to come up with this screen, we'll escape out of here. So to come up with what version of the software we're running um, on the software, we press the help key. Then we press the tree key. We go up to the about. And it tells us which version we're running. Notice that we're running the September or the October 16th version of 2018. Notice over here when we did the screenshots, we were running the February 12th version of the um, calculator. Okay, we press OK to that particular part. If we want to come up with this window, we will click here and this will let us do this window. This will let us change easily from degrees to radians and will let us um, do the um, Wi-Fi by clicking on it. To get to the CAS settings on our calculator, we hit the shift key and then settings. Now this allows us to change radians and degrees also and to work with square root with factoring and different things. The uh, home settings and the cassette settings can be some of these can be set in either place and some of these have not been implemented at the present time so right now it's a little confusing when you go to cassette settings basically you will use your home settings for most of your setup so we'll escape out of here the other screens in our collage have to do with the internal backup we have a separate video on this Let's take a look at recovery options. Um, right here, this paragraph tells us various recovery options. Then backing up is the biggest recovery option that we will use. So when we back up, we have our internal backup, which we talked about, and we also have the HP Connectivity Kit version of a backup. So you can also use that to back up your um, files. The last section is on updating your software. The hardware um, software you will do through the connectivity kit uh, on uh, 
switching to a newer version. The other versions you can do through the um, specific uh, stores, the Apple Store, the Google Store, or the Microsoft um, Store. That concludes our video on settings.